NASA finally proves the James Webb Telescope is working to see its first target. So how NASA prove it? What did Webb find? Let's dive into this episode. On February 3rd, NASA announced that the first particles of light have made their way through the entire telescope. This is the closest scientists have come to their ultimate goal, to use the James Webb to image the universe as never before. The iconic James Webb Space Telescope has turned on its near-infrared camera or NIRCAM, one of the science instruments on board to look at its first target photons, star HD 84406, in the constellation of Ursa Major, the Great Bear. It's a sun-like star that is similar in size and brightness, about 260 light-years away, and is too dim to be seen with the naked eye. Near CAM will cover the infrared wavelength range of 0.6 to 5 microns. But first, it has to cool down to a temperature of just negative 237 degrees Celsius or 36 Kelvin. It will detect light from the earliest stars and galaxies in the formation process, the population of stars in nearby galaxies and young stars in the Milky Way and Kuiper Belt objects. It's also equipped with coronagraphs, which allow astronomers to take pictures of very faint objects around a central bright object like star systems. Near Cam will keep staring at HD 84406 while Webb's optics experts move the mirror segments in nanometer scale steps to create a perfectly smooth surface. This work is expected to last until late April. The first proper images will probably be released in late June or early July. So what does first light mean for Webb? These very first sets of data are critical for the next step toward Webb's science mission and toward getting actual images we on Earth might marvel at as well. These near-cam readings enable scientists on the ground to start aligning the telescope's 18 mirrors to form a fresh lens on the cosmos. To bring each segment into the right position to work together perfectly, the team needs to tweak their individual position by focusing them on the star HD 84406. Any final web image will essentially be a stitched together composite. So when Webb looks at HD 84406 initially, it will produce 18 slightly different fuzzy pictures of the star. The engineers need to match each picture to the right segment. Once they know what segment is producing what image, they then can move the segments to look at a single point with greater accuracy. Afterward, they will move on to segment alignment, a stage where each mirror segment is brought in and out of focus to produce 18 in-focus views. Then they can move on to a phase called image stacking, where each segmented image then comes together to produce a unified picture, with all the light falling in one place. Finally, the engineers need to do field of view corrections and final little adjustments to get the segments just right. Of course, the engineers' work will not be over at that point. They will then need to turn to commission the different instruments on the web. The whole process is expected to take approximately three months, after which the JWST's 18 primary mirror segments should work together as a single mirror and deliver the data scientists have been waiting years for. That's all we have for you today. Hope you enjoy it and don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification to make sure you don't miss any updates from AlphaTech. Thanks and see you next time!